Hey guys, this is Priya and you're watching Droidpedia Academy. Welcome back to my channel. So as per the title of the video, let us understand on how we can export Firebase Firestore data onto a JSON file and import it into another project. Let's go. So you will be opening a new tab and type Firebase console and start creating a project. So just type Firebase console. Click on the second link. This is where you're going to come to. Click on add project and this is where you reach out. Give it a name. I'm writing YouTube Pro. Disable the analytics. Create a project. This is going to take a couple of seconds. So wait for it. Unless and until then, let's open a new Firebase console and try to open the project which has the information that I want to import. I'm going to YouTube. Now remember, YouTube is the one which has my cloud Firestore data. As you can see that. And the other project is going to be YouTube Pro, which is having nothing but a plain Firestore. Now, once you have clicked on continue, click on the web app, give it a name, say YouTube Pro and click on register app. Click on continue to console. Then go to Cloud Firestore and you will be able to see on this kind of a window. Click on create database, do it in test mode and next. Select a region. I'm going to take Asia South because that is the place where I'm going to stay. Enable. And now you will be able to see a plain empty Cloud Firestore. All right, as you can see, this is where it is ready. Now, what you're going to do is you need to generate a APK file, uh, sorry, API key where you can connect both of the projects. So go to settings and go to project settings, go to service account. As you can see, you will be able to see something called as generate new private key. Click on generate new private key and click on generate key now i'm giving as youtube pro dot json and enter in the same method the project which has the information import another apk file sorry a key go to service accounts Click on generate new private key and generate and this time it's going to be YouTube. All right. Now I have both of my JSON files absolutely ready in my downloads folder. Let me open it so that you can see it. Yeah. Yeah. So as you can see, this is my JSON file. Now I'm going to extract information in order to do that. I am going to show you a certain command that you need to follow. I'm going to post this command in the description box as well. So please have a look at that. You can just copy it. Go to the desired location where your project files are there, which means the JSON files are there. LS to check. As you can see, I have two files, YouTube and YouTube Pro. Now I need to export my information. So 
I am going to write a paste this following command and instead of credentials.json you will be writing the project from which you want to import. Let us say youtube.json. You can see that it's going to take a couple of minutes to do that. But sometimes you might get errors. Let us check if we are getting anyone and if it is, then we can resolve it. Awesome. Now, if you can see, I have backup.json right over here with all the information that I had in my database. Now, in order to export it to the file, use the second command that I was talking about, which will import it, copy it, paste it. Now, this time, it's not import.json. Instead, it's going to be YouTube Pro dot json and the information that is going to get backup is going to be the same backup dot json file just click on enter it asks if you want to proceed click on y and you can see it says all done let's have a look at the youtube pro project Let's go to YouTube Pro, go to Cloudfire Store and there you go, your information has successfully imported. I know this sounds like a crazy uh, steps to follow but trust me guys, this is very simple instead of writing the whole set of data. If you can see, I have a lot of data in each of the uh, collection. Hope this video was helpful to you guys. If it did, do not forget to like, share and subscribe to my channel. See you guys in the next video. Until then, goodbye. And also, please do leave in your suggestions on what kind of topics you want me to cover, which I'm going to do super soon. Bye-bye.